plus one accountancy lesson three books of prime entry under the books of prime entry already we have seen general how to prepare the general entries from the same general entries i will teach you some more sums please take illustration eight page number 51 very important sum please note it down yes pragadish he is a trader dealing in electronic goods who commenced business in 2015 for the following transactions took place in the month of march 2018 past journal entries so one mr pragadish is a businessman he is dealing with electronic goods he is having the business with the electronic goods he has given some journal entries in the particular month during the month of march 2008 what are the transactions happened in his business the transactions only he has given so based on the transaction we have to pass the journal entries okay so i'll teach you the journal entry very important so please listen the journal entries for journal entries you have to use in accountancy notebook only one page not in two page only one page you have to use that one page the first column is called date so this is illustration Eight. Page number is fifty-one. Page number fifty-one. So, in the books of Pragadish, heading is what? In the books of Pragadish. Okay. Under this journal entries, journal entries. Okay, two headlines will come in the single page. Then in accountancy notebook, we have to use only for journal entries only single page, not double side, only single side. Center we have to write in the books of Pragadish because Pragadish is the owner, and below that we have to write journal entries. The first column is called date. Second column is particulars. third column ledger folio fourth column debit and the rupees fifth column credit and the rupees okay these are my dear students first we have to read the journal entry that is transaction which which year 2018 march so in day column you put Year 2018 March. What is the date? First journal entry one. So you put here March one. Okay. Purchased goods from Y and Company on credit. Purchased goods from Y and Company on credit. So the Jagadish Pradesh purchased some goods for his business. From whom? Why and company? Why and company is the creditor. Why is creditor? Because he purchased he purchased for credit purpose. So that is he did not pay the money immediately. So it is credit purchases. So who the businessman made the credit purchases to anybody? That person is called till the amount is given. That person is called creditor. Okay. So here creditor is whom? Why and company? Why and company is a personal account. Purchase of goods is a nominal account. Okay, there are two accounts. One is nominal account that is purchase, personal account, Mister uh, Sir Mrs Y and Company. So there are two accounts. First, whenever you read the transaction, you must find out what are the accounts are there. What are the accounts are there? Y and Company personal account are there, and purchase of goods nominal account. So personal account nominal account. So In these two accounts, either one account will come in the debit, or another account will come in the credit. So that we have to find out based on the rules. What is the rule for uh, uh, nominal account? Debit all expenses and losses. Purchase is expenses. So expenses will come in the debit side. So purchase will come in the debit side. Purchase account data. So first entry is purchase account data. So definitely, who will come in the credit, Mister, uh, Mrs. Y and Company? Why Y and Company? Because we didn't give the money to him. So as per the Y and Company.
company is the personal account so personal account rule is what debit the receiver but debit we should not use because debit already nominal account has come so we have to use only credit credit rule of personal account what is the credit rule credit the giver because yn company only given the goods to mr prakash so y is the giver so yn company to yn company to y n company okay account is the credit what is the amount amount is 60000 so in debit side you put 60000 In credit side, you put sixty thousand. Narration is what? Purchase of goods from Y and company. This is the first journal entry. What is the second journal entry? Date is two. So leave one space after writing all the journal entries. Please leave one space for date two. Don't want to put to again March and all. Because already we mentioned here, year and month, so you just put the date. Leave one space after writing one journal entry. Leave one space, then you start to write the second journal entry. Okay. Sold goods to D and Company on credit rupees thirty thousand. Sold goods is nothing but sales. Purchase of goods is nothing but purchase. Sold goods or sale of goods is nothing but sales. Sales is the income. Sales is a income. So income is a nominal amount. So sales is a nominal amount. And paid uh, risk, uh, to, to sold to who? D and company on credit. That is, he sold some goods. That Prakash owner sold some goods to D and company on credit. So it means D did not pay the money immediately. So D is the debtor. D is the debtor. Okay. So D is a personal. Amount. Sold goods that is sales is a nominal account. So two accounts, one is personal account, another one is nominal account. Whenever you read the transaction, you must find out the two accounts under which heading, main heading. So sale of goods comes under nominal account. Uh, yet D and company comes under personal account. So we have to say nominal account rule and personal account rule. Either one will come in debit side, one will come in credit side. Okay. So D is D is the receiver because. We are uh, probably selling the goods. So then, who is the receiver of the goods? Receiving the goods, D and company is receiving the goods. So as per the personal account rule, D is the receiver. So debit the receiver. So here D is the receiver. So D and company will come in the debit side. Okay, because we can pay the money. So D and company account data two. Sales account. Sales is nominal account. What is the nominal account? Credit rule. Debit all expenses and the losses. That is there is. But but here we don't want debit. Credit all incomes and gains. Sales is income. So credit account. Sales account is credit card. So two sales account. How much? Rupees. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Don't no, you just, don't want to use this letter for you. Just put the amount. In amount column. Thirty thousand and thirty thousand. Okay, narration is sold goods to X and company. Understood? So, what is the third entry? So, this is the two entries. First entry, second entry. Leave one space here. Yeah, there is no space, so I will wrap up now. Then I will write the third entry. What is the third entry? Paid Y and company through bank full settlement. Listen, my dear students. Now the third entry is pay yeah paid YN company because we purchase the goods from YN company. Now we are paying the uh, amount to YN company. How much we have to be? Actually, we have to pay sixty thousand. We have to pay because we purchase the sixty thousand value of goods. Now we have to pay only sixty thousand. But here. The Pragadesh is the owner paying to Y and company through bank, through bank in full settlement. That is, is settling full amount, but he is paying only fifty-eight thousand. I already told you whenever the word full settlement is coming means definitely their discount is there. Here, who is giving the discount? Creditor is giving the discount to Pragadesh. Pragadesh is the owner. That is, I am the Pragadesh. I am the owner. I am receiving the. Uh, benefit because in my journal entries only I am writing no, so I am receiving the discount from my credit or Y N company. So Y N company is allowing, uh, sorry, giving two thousand rupees discount. Why? Here, see when the discount word will come means wherever the word full 
settlement is coming so definitely discount will come either it may be discount allowed or discount received here he is receiving because he is paying actually he have to pay 60000 but he is paying only 58000 with the full settlement means it means that full settlement means that 2000 he is getting as a income that is dividend is a discount received discount received from the yn company okay so it means that 2000 uh, yn company giving has a discount to the owner okay so what is the girl entry here three accounts will come one is yn company because yn company is receiving the payment and i am paying through bank yn company is a personal account then bank is also a personal account Okay, and a discount. Discount is receiving. Discount receiving is a income, nominal account. There are, see, personal account, YN company, personal account. And one more, um, and bank is also a personal account. And third one is what? Discount received. That is a nominal account. So, here three accounts will come. Actually, minimum two accounts will come. Sometimes three accounts will, some, will also come. Okay, as per the debit, um, personal account rule, what is the um, uh, uh, rule of uh, personal account debit the receiver that is I am paying the amount who is receiving that amount YN company so you have to write the date is what 3 you put the date 3 debit is YN company account data to I am paying as for cash that is a bank and I am receiving from YN company discount discount receive Discount received. Actually, how much I have to purchase from my company? 60,000. So here also you put 60,000. But I am paying only to bank 58,000. The bank's 2,000 discount <coughs> given by the <coughs> by company. 60,000 minus 58,000, 2,000 will come as a discount received. My dear students, please listen. Very important entry. My company accepted for uh, giving. 2000 discount. So it means in his account we have to put 60,000 only. The balance 2000 actually will be paid only 58,000 through bank. Balance 2000 will be admitted by the uh, discount admitted by the YN company. So that we are receiving. So we are receiving means discount received will come in the income side. Understood? So here payment paid to Y. Full settlement. Full settlement. This is the general entry for the third one. What is the fourth one? Date 4. D and company accepted a bill drawn by Pragadish. What is this? Here yeah, there is no there is no cash, there is no bank transaction. That is, I gave the I sold the goods to D. I sold the goods to D. When he is selling the goods, I am giving one bill that is invoice. I am sending the invoice also. That invoice has been accepted by the D. That is data. Oh yes, he have, I have to pay the money. He is accepted. So that is called what bills accepted. Bills accepted means that amount I am going to receive against the bill. Whatever the bill and the goods I have sent that is accepted by the data D. So it means from the D I have to get the money. So it is called bills receivable. It is called what? Bills receivable. Again the bill I am sending now. The bill sent, sent to uh, D. That bill amount I have to receive from the D. Okay. So it means he accepted. So that is called when he accepted the bill. When I sold the goods along with the bill I have sent to him. He accepted that he has to pay. Okay. He have to pay. So whoever accepted the bill either Creditor accepted the bill means that is bills payable. Because when I sold, when I purchased the goods, the creditor accepted the bill means I accepted the bill means I have to pay the amount to creditor that is bills payable. Here I sold the goods and along with I sent the uh, what that is the bill I have sent. For that bill, he didn't pay the money but he accepted it. So it means uh, that is uh, for that bill he have to pay the money that is I have to receive the money that Pragadish have to receive the money from D. So that is why it is called bills receivable. Before receiving the money the any bills accepted means that is called what bills receivable. Why the bills receivable because this amount the sales amount should come with, with me. So that is why it is called bills receivable. Bills receivable is here asset. 
bills receivable because the amount to be received no bills receivable is a asset so the, all the asset will come in the debit side only because asset is real account asset is real account as per the real account rule bills receivable will come here will come here debit okay so the second day what is the fourth day fourth day no fourth day bills receivable account data this bills is receivable who accepted to give this amount mr d mr d only i i sold the goods to d only no so d is accepted yes i will pay this amount it means this amount i am going to receive from d through bill so i have sent a bill first so he accepted the bill means that amount should be received by me going to be received that is why i put bills receivable account data this bills is accepted by whom mr d so d and company to d and company account narration is what bills accepted by d and company bills accepted by d and company what is the amount the amount is how much Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Debit thirty thousand. Credit thirty thousand. See, always debit amount is equal to credit amount. Debit amount ten thousand means credit amount also should be ten thousand. So here sixty. Fifty eight plus two sixty. Here thirty. Here thirty. Like that. So debit amount is equal to credit amount. So here debit is bills receivable amount data because the bill amount to be received from the D and company. So D is the giver. That is why D will come in the credit side. Okay. Now I teach you that another set of entries. Listen. Fifty entry sold goods to L on credit. This is another party. Okay. First two I sold the goods to whom? Uh, D and company. Now I sold the goods to L on credit. Then what is the journal entry? L is receiving receiving the goods. When I am selling the goods, who is receiving the goods? L is receiving the goods by credit. So he didn't pay the money. So L will be the receiving the goods. As per the personal account, L is the personal account. No. So as per the personal account rule, debit the receiver. Who is receiving these goods? When I am selling the goods, L is receiving the goods. So L and company will come in the debit side. What is the date? Fifth day. Date five. L and company account data to sales account because sale of goods is nothing but sales account. How much amount is rupees twenty thousand? Amount is rupees twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Narration is sold goods to L. Sold goods to L and Company. What is the date of six? Sold goods to Yam on credit. Again, I am selling some goods to Yam for same credit. What is the journal entry then? Yam account data because I didn't receive any money. So Yam is the data. So Yam will be debited. Yam only receive the goods. No, Yam account data to I am selling the goods means sales account. So say from this what we understood. Always sales will come in the credit side only. Always sales will come in the credit side only. As per the nominal account rule, sales is income, so sales will come in the credit side. Then who will come in the debit side? Yam account. So day is six. Yam account data to sales account. What is the amount? The amount is rupees forty thousand. Rupees forty thousand. Let it forty thousand. Let it forty thousand. Okay. Ah, then narration is what sold goods to Yam. Sold goods to Yam. Okay. Yes. What is the next journal entry? Date seven. Date seven. Okay. This is the fifth date entry. Sixth date entry. Now I am going to teach you day seven journal entry. Yeah, 
what is the date seven received a check from yam full settlement and deposited into the same to the bank actually i sold the goods to yam how much 40000 but i am receiving from the yam only 39000 Listen, my dear students. I am selling the goods to him for forty thousand. Actually, he have to pay only forty thousand, but he is giving only thirty nine thousand. But what the word is coming? Full settlement. Full settlement means so discount is coming. Okay, here we I am receiving the money. That is, I am receiving the amount from him. So him is giving the amount. Him only him actually pay actually him uh, have to pay rupees forty thousand, but he is pay, he is paying only thirty nine thousand. I am accepting. And uh, yeah, uh, in this uh, transaction, what said full settlement means uh, I am accept accepting for thirty nine thousand. It means one thousand rupees I am giving as discount. Okay, because Yam is the debtor. Yam is the debtor. He is receiving the goods now. He is paying the amount out of forty thousand. He paid only thirty nine thousand. I am accepting this because full settlement. The word is coming means the owner. I am Pragadesh is accepting for thirty nine thousand. Full settlement means so it means thousand rupees I am giving as. Discount. So the businessman is giving the discount to the debtor. Is called discount allowed. As per discount, discount allowed is nominal amount. So as per the nominal amount, discount allowed is expenses. So will come in the debit side. Okay. Yes. I am receiving as for cash, but I am depositing the same into the bank. It means bank account is the debit. Bank is receiving the amount. Okay, and the discount allowed will come in the debit side as per the nominal account rule. Then who is giving this amount? Yam is giving the amount, so the yam will come in the credit side. Understood? So bank account data. What is the date of entry? Seven. Seven. Bank account data. Discount allowed. Data to Yam account because Yam only giving this amount now. So to Yam account, Yam only giving the amount to. So as per the personal account rule, Yam is the giver. So Yam will come in the credit side. How much amount I am receiving here? Only thirty nine thousand. I am receiving thirty nine thousand. Out of forty thousand, I am receiving thirty nine thousand. What is the balance thousand? Thousand I am giving the discount to him. So thousand rupees is. Thirty nine plus one forty thousand. Forty thousand will come in the credit side of Yam account. So thirty nine plus one forty debit forty credit. Okay, received amount from Yam full settlement. Because we can mention full settlement or just just we mention amount received from Yam. Okay, what is the next journal entry? Goods returned to Y and Company rupees four thousand. Goods returned to Y and Company because we purchased goods. We purchased goods from Y and Company for sixty thousand. Out of sixty thousand, now I am returning rupees four thousand goods due to some damage or something like that. Whatever the reason may be. Okay, so I am returning the goods to who? Y and Company because I purchased the goods from Y now. Now I am returning the goods from Y goods to Y. Then when I am returning the goods to Y, who will receive these goods? Y will receive the goods. Y will receive the goods. As per the personal account rule, Y is the receiver. So Y will come in the debit side. Then I am returning the goods. I am purchasing the goods. Now I am returning the goods means purchase return. I purchased the goods from Y and Company. Now I am returning the goods to again Y. Purchase return. Purchase return will come in the credit side because purchase will be the debit always. As per the rule, purchase account is a nominal account; it will be coming in the debit side. But purchase return will come in the credit side. Okay, here who is receiving the goods? Y and company receiving the goods, and I am returning the goods. Y will receiving the goods. So as per the personal account rule, Y will be the receiver. Y will be debited, and uh, uh, purchase return account will be credited. What is the date? Date is eight. It is eight. Okay, Y and company account data to purchase return account to purchase return account. How much? Debit four thousand. 
it is can be 4000 rupees so relation is goods return to y goods return to y goods return to y okay now come to the 9th entry date 9 l become insolvent l become insolvent By the time, what they say is only ninety pies per rupee only we can recover from him. That is, the young can now repay only. If suppose I sold one rupee to him, means he will pay only ninety pies. Understood or not? Because he is unable to pay because the court declared that he is insolvent. What does it mean by insolvent? A person who is unable to, incapable of paying his business debt, debts is called an insolvent. So, but uh, what they say is. He is insolvent, but he can pay only ninety pies per rupee. Ninety pies per rupee means suppose I so I have given rupees one rupee means so he will repay only ninety pies because of insolvency. Like that, I sold goods to him how much? Twenty thousand rupees. I sold goods to him twenty thousand rupees. But now he can pay only ninety pies. Means this is my dear students. Twenty out of twenty thousand, he will pay. Will be how much? Ninety pies. Ninety pies. It means ninety nine zero point nine. Okay, zero point nine. What will come? Answer. So eighteen thousand only I can get from him. Twenty thousand into zero point nine zero. If you multiply, we will get eighteen thousand rupees. It means that he only can. Given to um, written back to me only eighteen thousand out of actually twenty thousand goods sold to him, but he he repay only eighteen thousand because of insolvency. So what about the two thousand? What about the two thousand? I already teach you that is important terms of technology in the accountancy. Bad debts. What do you mean by bad debts? Debts which cannot recover from sundry debtors because L is a debtor. Here L is a debtor. I sold goods to L for credit, so L is a debtor. Now he is unable to pay the money, so that is I cannot. That is I am unable to uh, get back my money. The two thousand I will not get. That two thousand is called what? Bad debts. It is a loss. Actually, it is a income, but he has not. He is unable to pay means that the amount I cannot recover from him. So whenever the amount recovered from what whatever the amount recovered not recovered from the debtors is called bad debts. So I can receive only eighteen thousand cash balance two thousand bad debts. Understood? Okay. Now this amount given by whom? Given by whom? L and company. So as per the personal control, L is the giver. So L will be credit side. So I am receiving the cash. I am receiving the cash. So I am receiving the cash. So cash will be debited. And bad debts will be debited. Cash will be debited. Bad debts will be debited. Cash account data. How much are we receiving cash? Eighteen thousand only. The balance two thousand is called what? Bad debts account data. That is also loss. As per the nominal rule, debit all expenses and the losses. Here bad debts is a loss. So two thousand plus eighteen thousand. I have received as a cash. This amount given by who? To L. To L. L only give this give this amount. Amount. So L amount. So eighteen plus two, twenty thousand. Okay. Amount received from L. Amount received from L. The last journal entry is tenth. Goods returned by Yam. I sold goods to Yam. I sold goods to Yam for the value of forty thousand. Now my debtor, Yam is my debtor. He is returning the goods. I sold the goods to Yam. Now he is returning the goods means that is called sales return. I sold the goods again. It is it is come to me means that is called what sales return. 
as per the rule sales is credit sales return will be debit sales is income so that is why always it is credited but sales return is debited so here sales return is coming sales return is debited then who will credit this goods returned by who whom uh, yam only returning so yam will be credited sales return will be debited yam will be credited so the last entry sales return account data to yam account how much rupees 3000 rupees 3000 3000 okay so returned goods by yam okay see this all are the very important general entry my dear students so you please um, do the homeworks from the exercise sums okay so next classes i will teach some more sums because for your october october november october uh, november month test you will have the portions from first lesson to third lesson third lesson fully that is this is the last part of the third lesson so journal entries you please go through all the sums whatever i teach you whatever assignment videos so rest of the sums i'll teach you next classes also next classes so by the time you please practice all the sums whatever we did and from the exercise sums also please do the practice from exercise sums also okay if you have any clarity if you want if you have any doubts means i can clarify in the that is um, direct classes okay thank you